Father can see the bigger picture because he's the artist that painted it. He's the creator. He's the one who put it there. He sees what you can with your limited carnal mind. You have the mind of a child. And it's not to say that you're childish. It's just to say that there's things that you don't know. There's things that you don't understand. There's things that you cannot fathom. There's things that are beyond our human limitations. There's things of the spirit that we know little or nothing about. Father knows what's best for you. Father knows what's best for me. Father knows what's best for us. He created us. He has a plan for us. He wrote a book about us and about our remarkable lives. It had nothing to do with us chasing our carnal desires. To live out the life the Father wrote of you in the books in heaven means to surrender your will to Father. Father is all-powerful. He knows all things. made you so powerful that you can resist him that you can live a life without him that you can completely turn away from him you have that free will you have that choice you can choose to live without father you can choose to live without his guidance you can choose to live without him in your life choose to do what you want to do, to serve your flesh, your carnal body, and your carnal mind. You can choose to serve that which is of the earth, or you can surrender that will and beg Father to forgive you, beg Father to show you show up in your life beg father to show you more of what he has planned for you of what his will is for you what his wants are for you what his desires are for you you can repent and you can ask these things of father and ask him in Jesus name through the son you have access to the father just do it on Sunday morning. Don't go to a church that's not likely to give you what you want. All the churches seem dead nowadays. They go and they tell a story about a man who once lived, but we know that Jesus lives right now. We know that Father lives right now. You go to the churches and they tell it as it's a fairy tale. They tell you a story about this guy that once was, but he is and always will be. You can have a relationship with him. You need to forget about religion and focus on relationship. Forget religion. Focus on relationship. I'm going to say it a third time. Forget religion and focus on the relationship. The Bible talks about going into your prayer closet and praying to the Father in secret. You don't have to show up, meet with a bunch of people, and go through the motions. And I'm not saying that congregation is bad. Just congregation with the wrong intent is what's bad. People that are going to church just to have people see them going to church. Or people that are going to church to be puffed up to say, I go to church. That's what's wrong. You can pray in your closet, in your prayer closet. And I don't mean literally push your shirts aside and hop in the closet. I mean, go to a private place. Go to a secret place. Go to a place where you're not limited. uh, Where you're not worried about someone hearing you or concerned about someone hearing you. Where you're not saying things to to appease a man. Go to a place where you can be alone with Father and speak your true desires, your true heart. Where you can ask for forgiveness, beg for forgiveness, repent, 
repent again and repent repeatedly of things known and unknown. The carnal desires don't stop because you have a carnal body. But you can turn all that over to the Father. You can ask Him for help. You can ask Him for discernment. You can ask Him to show you all things. You can ask Him to help you in all things. You can ask Him to be with you in all things. You have the power to push Him away, to turn Him away, to turn your back to Him. But once you've turned your back to the Father, know that He loves you. He loves you. He's with you always and He's waiting for you. Once you've turned your back to Him, He's waiting for you to turn back around face him, to move towards him, to step closer, to lean in more to him so that he can do the same to you. He gives you the option to keep him at bay. But he wants you to put your arms around him. He wants you to know how much he loves you. He wants you to accept the gifts he has for you. He wants you in his life. He wants you to participate. He wants you there on Monday. He wants you there on Tuesday. He wants you there on Wednesday. He wants you there on Thursday. He wants you there on Friday. He wants you there on Saturday. And he wants you there on Sunday. Father's always with you. And he wants you to always be with him, to always choose him first. Choose him above all other desires. Surrender your will to him because he knows what's best for you. He knows regardless of what your flesh wants, regardless of what your carnal mind wants, he knows the spiritual greatness that you need. He knows the, the gifts of the spirit that will take you farther in this physical life than you have ever fathomed. He knows above all else how to put the pieces together in your life so that you can live a life for Him. You may not like what Father has in mind for you. You may not like it, but you don't have to like it. Just as the child, just as the parent tells the child, no. Sometimes we need to hear the word no. We may not like it because it may be something we want. We may throw a tantrum just as the child does, but we are his children. He is our father and he knows best. He knows what we need more than we do. You may have a want, but he knows your need. He sees the bigger picture again because he is the illustrator. to seek him. You need to seek him today. You need to seek him tomorrow. You need to seek him the day after. You need to seek him non-stop. The time is short. The time is short. Father wants you in his life. Father wants you to turn away from the evils of the world. Because the world is evil. The things of the world are evil. You chase things. You chase items, you chase money, you chase flesh, you chase all these things that'll go away, all of these things that'll disappear, all of these things that have no meaning, all of these things you've been sold, you've been told a lie, all of these things that you think are going to give you fulfillment but won't. All of these things that you think will give you joy, but won't. All of these things you think will fill up your life, but continue to leave you empty. It's because you're missing the Father. You're missing the Father. 